The development of artificial intelligence is a Manhattan Project type endeavor, except it's being developed in full view of everyone, and on the world stage no less. It's having a notable effect on our society today, but by 2030, I predict things are going to get hairy. Trying to predict the future is hard. Someone who got it right though was George Orwell. His writing is practically prophetic. When Orwell was asked how he wrote 1984, he said, and I am paraphrasing, I just looked at how everything is now and imagined it getting worse. I'm going to attempt to take the same approach when imagining where this tech is going. Here are the three areas in which I think AI is going to have a disastrous effect on us. I want to talk about OpenAI's GPT-3 first. GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. GPT-3 is an autoregressive language model that uses deep learning to produce human-like text. In other words, it writes, convincingly, on its own. The release of this tech is what drove Elon Musk to stop backing the OpenAI project. He felt the AI was too dangerous to simply hand over to anyone on the planet. I agreed with him at the time, and still do. I tend to listen to Musk when he speaks about artificial intelligence. In a world flooded with fake news, creating and distributing an AI bot that can spew convincing text, whether it's correct or not, seems counterproductive to our stated mission of eliminating fake news from our networks. The hype around GPT-2, its predecessor, when it was released just over a year ago was intense. It was labeled as the most dangerous AI algorithm in history. Enter GPT-3. How much more powerful and smarter is this new iteration? GPT-2 was trained on 40 gigabytes of text data. That's a ton of text. GPT-3, on the other hand, was trained on 45 terabytes of text data, just a year later. This stuff is moving fast. It's capable of generating stories, code, and legal jargon, among other things. Today, GPT-3 can write an entire article in the time it takes me to stumble through a single sentence. What is going to happen when a powerful AI such as this learns to write not only coherently, but also persuasively, and with the ability to capture and retain your attention better than any human could? Now before I make my first prediction, please consider subscribing. My intent is to grow this channel and post new content on a regular basis. Well, until an AI does it for me. But moving on. My prediction. Future iterations of this tech will be able to produce any type of media. News articles, movies, sitcoms, documentaries, music, podcasts, any type of media. On the fly. Only this content will be so enthralling for some that they literally won't be able to stop consuming. I have to ask at this point, who's in control in this scenario? Further to this, there will be an explosion of online content. Well before 2030, most new content on the internet will be produced entirely by AI, or, at a minimum, its creation will be AI-assisted. Bad actors will utilize this tech to create persuasive content to influence democracies on matters concerning public and foreign policy, and will be deployed by practically every political campaign as the primary tool to sway elections in their favor. OpenAI plans to roll out a commercial version of their GPT-3 tech later this year. Now, I want to talk about AI-driven social media platforms. Consider this. The internet is a fairly manipulative place. All kinds of tricks are employed in order to get people to spend their time engaging with different platforms. Several platforms are competing for your time and attention right now. Most social media platforms today are driven by AI, and they utilize proven methods to get your attention and keep it. For example, Facebook codes its notifications in a way that manipulates you. When Facebook loads, it is coded to delay displaying the number of notifications you have. This creates a feeling of anticipation in the end user, and when the notifications number eventually displays, that anticipation is satisfied and your brain releases dopamine. There's no way to avoid this manipulation other than not to use the platform. Our brains are hardwired to react in this fashion based on this type of stimuli, and the people who develop these platforms know it and exploits it knowingly. I suspect this trend will continue. Big tech firms will employ AI to use our biology against us to increase their bottom lines. Now ask yourself, have you ever been talked into doing something you didn't want to do? I have. I think that's an experience we all share. 
What happens when a super intelligent AI is programmed to convince you to act in a certain manner or make a certain decision by hacking your biology? Humans are easily led astray. We don't like to admit it, but it's the truth. We are a fairly impressionable bunch, and no one is immune to manipulation. There are 188 cognitive biases built into our brains that affect our decision-making processes. Take the rhyme as reason bias, for example. We humans, if we hear something that sounds nice or rhymes, tend to favor it and give it more credence than it deserves, and we assign a probability of truthfulness as higher on statements that rhyme. This tactic was employed during the O.J. Simpson murder trial. Have you ever heard the words, if the glove don't fit, you must acquit? That phrase exploited the rhyme as reason bias built into all of us, and guess what? Odds are a murderer was set free, in part, due to the exploitation of this bias. My prediction. I suspect an AI that can exploit this bias, and any one of the other 187 identified ones will be developed, if it hasn't already, and will be deployed against us. What could you be persuaded into doing or thinking? What about people who are more impressionable than you? What could they be persuaded into doing? The goal of this tech will not be to convince everyone of one thing or another, but to convince enough people. Hackers and government-backed intelligence agencies, like what you find in Russia, China, and the US, will use this tech to further polarize people and create discord in communities across the globe. Violence will become more commonplace, as people become convinced that violence is the only way to ward off whatever boogeyman they're convinced is attacking their way of life. We see this happening today. Soon it will be further supercharged by AI. My final prediction revolves around the type of intellectual work that will be available to us human intelligences. Artificial intelligence will not only eliminate numerous jobs, as is predicted will happen to the transport industry once high-level autonomous driving software is deployed, but it will also eliminate the most intellectually stimulating tasks from jobs that remain. It's going to suck the fun out of your vocation long before it eliminates it entirely. I've worked with several asset managers over the years, primarily in the real estate sphere. Asset managers are essentially number crunchers. They utilize what data is available to them to make decisions to improve the performance of an asset. One of their primary responsibilities is setting pricing. Five years ago, I was working with a company that deployed an AI that eliminated the task of setting pricing. It took a look at several different market metrics to come to a decision. Needless to say, many asset managers balked at this development as it eliminated an intellectually stimulating part of their job. Now consider this. Coding is one of my favorite pastimes because it is so intellectually stimulating. I find it hard. I like hard things. Several outfits have developed AI that can already write code that solves coding challenges, the likes you'd find at coding competitions. That was a few years ago. Have you ever unlocked God Mode on one of your favorite video games? It's fun at first, but quickly becomes old and ruins the challenges games present. It ruins the game. It's no longer fun. So many people are studying day and night to become great coders. This may all be in vain, as only a fraction of them will be required in the workforce, as AI writes most of the code. My prediction. A series of narrow AIs will eat away at the number of tasks people are required to do in their jobs until very little is required to be completed by humans. Lower skilled workers will be employed to manage the AIs, replacing traditional trained professionals and experts at a fraction of the cost. Accountants, for instance, will no longer complete audits, but will play a role of administrative assistant to an AI. Essentially, educated professionals will be demoted. Many will struggle with finding meaning in their day-to-day -day jobs and will leave the workforce en masse in search of intellectually stimulating work. This will force companies to double down on AI and automation to fill the void left by this exodus, creating a type of feedback loop that will only eliminate more work for us humans and hand it over to AIs. In closing, we are on the cusp of an incredible transition. Artificial intelligence does contain positive promise for society, but getting there is going to be bumpy and fraught with pitfalls. I am encouraged by what AI is going to be able to accomplish in the healthcare and material sciences spheres, but with the good comes the bad. 
We will need to develop new cognitive skills to navigate the new normal and find new ways to create meaning and purpose for our lives while remaining vigilant in the face of bad actors who strive to manipulate us. It truly is us against the machines. Thank you for listening. If you like my work, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. And remember, this ride is not without risk. Be careful out there and take care.